Um, let's go to 12.0, which is first reading. And this is a policy which does not have a number, and I found out last time. It is to be determined. Animals for instructional purposes. And I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Stacy to give us an update on that. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, just as I told you last um, month, we had a committee that reviewed um, we realized that we didn't really have a policy that addressed animals in schools. Mm -hmm. And so we pulled together a committee of the um, science coordinator, director for school counseling, coordinator of section 504, director of special ed, and the coordinator and director of human resources to address this um, concern. Um, we reviewed um, the school board model policy and recognized that theirs really primarily was an instructional policy that addressed um, service animals in the classroom and that we really have a need to try to, um, I guess, monitor the use of animals for instructional purposes. So um, we're gonna bring to you, ultimately we'll bring to you four policies, but we're gonna start with uh, animals for instructional purposes, which is the policy that I have tonight. Um, it is not replacing a policy because there isn't a policy, and we've looked at the school board policy and edited it for um, our use. Um, I provided that for you. We've also provided for you some procedures. There, You wouldn't approve the procedures. That's just how we kind of do business with this to get them approved. But I wanted you to be able to see those so you could kind of understand how that um, policy would be put in place. But it's coded TBD because it's to be determined. Um, once y'all have approved it after second reading, we'll take it over to the school board um, association and they'll codify it for us. Okay. Any questions for Mr. Stacy Board? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Stacy. 